Hey, this is Chris Menard. I've got something advanced for you today in Microsoft Excel. So in this Excel file, I have states, cities, and population, and I only put in three states, Georgia, Kansas, and Arizona. But the issue is, if you notice, if you look in column A, A4 and A5 should be GA, Kansas should be in A8 and A9, and you can see where I'm headed. Also, I've got total rows. So someone did a formula here that summed up the numbers above it. The 829 is a formula. But the issue is this. I can't sort this, pivot table, filter, subtotal. All the cool features in Excel are absolutely useless to me. This might as, might as well be a table in Word or something or a screenshot. So let's clean it up. But I don't want to sit here and right click and delete row 2 autofill GA down. I don't want you to do that because I know I only have three states, but assume that I have all 50 states. Or assume that I have products, and instead of three products, I have 500 products. So let me show you what you can do. Step one would be to make sure you close this. But I've made a copy of it because I want to come back and show you how this looks compared to when we're done with this video. So you'd close it, which I'm not going to do. You'd make a new Excel file. And let me put that up just a little bit. How does that look? Looks good. The data tab, I'm using Excel 2016. This will always this will also work in Excel 2013. Over here is a group called Get and Transform Data. I'm going to select Get Data. In 2013, you'll have the power query also. But I'm not going to go directly there because I know my data is in an Excel file and that's the data I need to transform. So I'm going to go from workbook and Excel files a workbook. And I'm going to jump and pull that up real quick. It's going to take a second. I double clicked. It's going to take a second just to pull it in. You'll always, when you create a new Excel file, have sheet one, which you see down at the bottom. And here we go. It's going to make a new worksheet in just a second. But it's saying, okay, you selected a file to pull in here. What's the name of the worksheet that you want to pull in? And I know that that worksheet is called data for three states and it previews the data. I'm going to hit transform and now is when it's going to make sheet 2 if you notice that watch. So you could always go back and delete sheet 1 if you didn't need it. You don't have to though. Hope everyone's having a good week. Independence Day is tomorrow. Hope you got your fireworks. No you're not supposed to have fireworks. It all depends on where you live I guess. Here we go. So the Power Query Editor does get open. Your computer will not be this slow. It's this computer I'm on. Here we go. Okay. So first column is state, second column is city, third column is population. But here's the one of the issues I had is I didn't want to have to put GA, autofill it down, but notice it says null. I'm going to right click the word state. This is really cool. Fill down. Watch what happens. It filled in all three states. Now I still have some null values. So to get rid of those, by default, the Power Query Editor always has filters running. I could, there's two different ways to do it, and both ways are correct. I could hit the drop down filter arrow and get rid of null. But that's still leaving me with this total, which I need to get rid of. Because I'm trying to make this a flat file, meaning it's just data. State is a category. State should be one column. City is a category. One column. And then the numbers, which are population, one column. Well, these totals don't need to be in here. So I could come in here, and I'll go ahead and do this, grand total. Total, I'm taking the check marks out and hit OK. 
I'm actually perfect right now. Let me show you one more way to do that though. I'm going to click on undo. Oh, there is no undo. I knew that, but undo in Power Query. If you look over to the right, it says applied steps. The Power Query took care of most of these initial steps, so it's working its way down. So what I just did is filter rows. I'm going to take that, hit the X and it clears it. So if you didn't like that method, I could have hit the drop down for city, selected null, and hit OK. So it gets rid of all nulls and all blanks. So I'm actually perfect right here. Three for Georgia, three for Kansas, three for Arizona, numbers. Top left corner, it says close and load. Watch what it does. Here's that sheet too, by the way. Perfect. It pulls the Power Query data into a new sheet. It automatically converts it to a table, which I love. So I could sit here and turn off the filter. I could change the colors. I'm going to widen that just a little bit so you can see it. But now I can come in here and I can sort largest to smallest by population. There's largest to smallest. I can sort smallest to largest by population. I only want to see two states. I want to see just so it fits in my screen. I did that. I widened that really. I want to see Arizona and I want to see Kansas. So I'm going to turn Georgia off. And there I go. I'm going to take that Clear that filter. So here's the end result of get in transform with Power Query. I'm going to move that over a little bit now. Let me just resize this just a tad. There we go. So over to the left is the initial file, how it looked. Notice the blanks. Notice the empty cells. And over to the right is what happened with going to data, get in transform, and using the Power Query. So that is a great lesson. Great to have it in your Excel arsenal for when you have stuff like that, because I know I get stuff like that all the time. Everyone have a great week. Have a great holiday. Thank you.